Hello again, all Sims fans. Welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Sims series. <laughs> uh, episode 14, I believe we're on now. Isn't it going well? And so, as you join me, here's a man doing some uh, exercises. Let's uh, let's unpause the game. Get it started and uh, right. Um, obviously, I've been playing the game uh, while not recording, just to you know get things going, speed things up, and stuff. Well, Maya here finally reached that part of a career. If we just bring that up, um, she's now a jingle jammer. <laughs> which uh, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, does it say? Here we go. Excuse me. Who needs name recognition when everyone recognises your song? Maya will be busy creating jingles that lodge themselves into people's brains, so it would take highly invasive surgery to get them back out. So what if they're about cat food or toilet cleaner? No one could flush them away. Not over. And obviously, next promotion is Serious Magician. Now, the thing is, when it says next promotion, this is the promotion in the music career because uh, zuz, zuz, if we look at her uh, aspiration uh, thing here, uh, musical genius. That's. Um, see, uh, this sim wants to be an expert musician and songwriter, which is why I have taken her into sort of that side of the. Uh, of the career and uh, and it, instead of being a comedian I, the thing with uh, the entertainer career is you can either go musician or uh, comedian now obviously may wants to be a musician so obviously i've gone the musician route uh, she's already a level six player of, of an instrument um i do I do need to get, uh, or, have, or at least find somewhere that has got a piano. And I can't remember where I saw one. Um, now, uh, there's n I, oh, I don't think there's one at the lounge where uh, she usually, usually, uh, well, where, where I took her to. Um, to get the hundred simoleons in tips, um, I basically got her to play the guitar, and people were tipping her. The thing with that, getting tips, the higher the level, uh, your music uh, level. Um, come on, so menus have been a bit, uh, a bit slow popping up for some reason. Um, oh, hello. What is it? Cassidy's angry. Oh dear. Uh, let's try and calm her down a bit. Uh, ah, try to calm down. There we go. We'll soon get your salty love. Right. So anyway, the musical genius. Uh, Serenade a sim while flirty. That. Um, That I will need to do. Um, usually, uh, seems need usually need to be inspired when um, when they want to serenade. Uh, so uh, I've put the uh, the bucket there. Uh, that's is it view flirty work. Um, that's the thing that gives off a flirty aura, which is why I've got it there. And they're having an unpleasant conversation. Now, go here. What? Go on her breasts. That's rather rude. Um, well, hip bump. Come on, do stuff. Be like jolly and happy. <laughs> Right and day. There we go. Sure, a good time. 
uh, and have a deep conversation. Right, let's see how that goes. Uh, we're waiting for Flabadar, he's at work. Um, until, until I don't know when. Because he changed, I think, until 3. And if it's 3 or 4 o'clock, he gets back, so... He's all... Oh, hold on, he's almost done, so... Is that going to be... three? I think it's 10 till 3 or something like that. You can't look, because it, it's a bit stupid, you can't... Oh, there we go, but work until 3. Ah. Well, you can't, you can't have the pop-up thing, it's... Uh, it's that, anyway. Um, oh. Somebody said something she didn't like. Um, well, I don't know, just Brighton Zoe's day. Uh, right. Hello, Flabadar! See, he's walked into there and he's flirty. Uh, obviously, that is because. The bucket of love, <laughs> the champagne bucket there. It's uh, because it gives off the flirty aura. Then that would be way. <clears throat> right, uh, what was going to do? Have a look at his stuff. Right, he needs fun and hygiene. Uh, one of the things I did. Oh, typically he's going to go upstairs, isn't it? Uh, one of the things I've done, I should say, or I did, whichever. One of the things i done was, uh, let me just take a brisk shower. He did have need some hygiene, didn't he? Da, 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 yeah. Um, uh, oh, I found how to do the round edge um, things, counters. Things, you know, then. Um, I did a little, a slight bit of decorating, I suppose you could say. Not so much decorating, but like, just to change things up a little bit. Uh, I've moved the fridge over there. I've got the, that's pretty much the best fridge you can buy in the game, at the moment, anyway. Uh, that's pretty much the best cooker you can get in the game at the moment. Um, so, yeah, and... I've obviously moved cupboards around and stuff, so uh, I found out you can uh, put these corner cupboards up, uh, but you can't really see. So yeah, I thought that looks rather, rather good, doesn't it? I say. Anyway, so that was that. That's just a quick update on the kitchen there. Uh, I, like I said, I've upgraded those to sort of self-cleaning and well they've pretty much upgraded everything um there are kind of like a few levels of upgrade if you know what i mean um let's see upgrade right you've got self-cleaning superior flush and the b day and basically i did all of that for the toilet uh that the clean coat which I don't think you can have that as self-cleaning, I'm not sure. Uh, sturdy force, that's, that's something I need to obviously. Uh, so that's that. Because some, they only need common parts, and I have got loads of common parts. Uh, the sturdy force, that's, they need just two common upgrade parts. Uh, auto soap dispenser and self-cleaning. Uh, that one needs the two plumbing upgrade parts. This is one thing you need to be a little bit careful of, because... Uh, if we check in the inventory, uh, see uh, loads of common upgrade parts, actually like plus 99. Um, what are those now? Kitchen upgrades, right, only three of those. Uh, oh, and I've got eight plumbing uh, parts, so uh, the thing is these are quite rare and you can buy them basically if you go on uh, on the computer if you uh, 
music order and you can order upgrade parts there we go common upgrade part at 10 simoleons per part an electronic upgrade part at 120 a kitchen upgrade at 90 <whistles> that talata money so yeah you, you can order some but you're probably but not probably you're obviously best be not to considering actually quite expensive uh, right so where's oh Maya's getting something to eat so oh, she's rather playful uh, Flubbadar is just standing there doing nothing I've put a little piece of roof on there because it looked a bit odd <laughs> Um, actually, uh, where's the rest of my roof? Oh, of course, I need to put walls up, don't I? So there we go, there's, uh, there's the back of the house, uh, you've got the roof. I was looking at this and I thought, right, what can I do there? Because it looked odd, really. Um, the way that that seemed, to, uh, uh, <laughs> it just looked odd. And so I managed to put some columns up and stuff. And it looks a bit better now. I think it looks better. Wow! Why is it... Oh, mind you, why is it so low? It's probably because... They haven't really had that much time to kind of, like, be together. Um, uh, they've been, I've been skilling Mayor up. I've been doing stuff with Flabadar, I mean he's been uh, programming and doing some some programs because now I can't understand why uh, I, have, I really have no idea why uh, the bills are so expensive the last bill was 4,444 simoleons and I'm kind of like, why? <laughs> uh, why are the bills so high? Now, the reason I've put the walls up, sorry, sorry to obscure your view. Um, oh, oh, ta-da! I have put shelves up so that I can put the, uh, the Mycins figures up there. Because I, th I saw it in another video, and I thought, you know, that, that's a good idea. Oh, she's very sad. What's uh, why is she very sad? Caught the love of her life flirting with another. What? Oh, Flabadar, you flirted. Oh, what, what is wrong with you? I thought he was flirting with Maya. When he blew a kiss to her, I thought, okay, yeah. Oh, Flabberdar, you naughty boy. Uh, right. I, and you'll have to excuse a few of me uh, sniffing a bit and stuff. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cold. It's, it's more of a kind of cough. But I'm kind of, yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll live just about. But the strange thing is as well with... Uh, Chloe there although he has got no romantic relationship at all with her it was funny that she would like, blow kisses to Flabadar you know, I thought well, that's a bit strange uh, what is she doing there uh, so I thought ok ok we, all we are uh, like, really good friends Let's try an embrace. Now, an embrace is a romantic move. And so, when I tried it, she, like, pushed away and was like, No, 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 no. Really? But you keep blowing kisses to me. Okay. Fair enough. I see how it is. Sit together. What the? No, Flabadar, you don't come and sit together on our bed. Look. Oh, Chloe, really? See? Now, if I'd have tried that with Chloe, she'd have been like, Oh, I'm having none of that. No. 
I mean, right in front of me as well. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Dear me. The drama of the Sims. Well, well, goodbye then, Chloe. But now you've said that, you can't get out. For some reason, when you get up off the chair and you stand there, the corner. Uh, you don't, I don't know why that's another. That's a bit of a, a sort of bit of a bug or a glitch. I mean, you would think they would have the sense to be able to walk through that little gap between the chairs there, but no. But no, poor Chloe has got to stay there. And once again, I mean, look how dark she is. Come on, she's in a room. There's loads of light, and. She's dark. When they will fix, I hope they will fix that in the next patch. Uh, because if they're down, I'm just going to have to download uh, the mod that does it for, well, that does it for EA, basically. <laughs> Let's move that bin over to there. And then move this over to there which is pretty much where it should have been in the first place. Let me move that over to there. I think that, that looks a bit better there, instead of all, all crowded up in the corner. I think I might have been planning something when I was designing the room. She should be able to, uh, to get out of there now. She probably won't now because of the, the bug that's like got her caught there anyway. Probably just going to stand there and. Uh... Oh, how long is that going to last? Another 13 hours. Oh, Flabberdoll. Oh, Flabberdoll. That's another problem with this. Uh, because we've got a grill, when one of them comes to cook something in the kitchen and the other one is hungry. So obviously they want to cook something. They will cook something at the grill. Then that means there's a plate of something out there. And then there's a plate of something in the kitchen. And it's like, right. <laughs> I don't need that much food. <laughs> so I do tend to put it away in the, in the fridge. Uh, because it, it really literally lasts for days in there. Oh, and, and here's a bit of a, a bit of a tip, especially if you're a programmer. Even if you're not a programmer, learn the programming skill and like program stuff because you need the money. Seriously, the, like I said before, the last bill was over four thousand simoleons. Now. I know they changed it to just a weekly bill, but really, 4,000 simoleons a week. Now the thing was, the bill before that was just under 3,000. Now, obviously I know I've sort of... Uh, you know, but bought new stuff and whatever, but come on! Surely that once you've bought the stuff, it's been used for a while, the value of it kind of drops a little bit, and so your bills shouldn't be that high. So there we go. Oh dear, quality, okay. <laughs> oh look, you could tell by the face when they're eating it, they were kind of like, Mm, that's not that good, is it, really? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but never mind. I mean, Mayor 
it's Flabadon who's the one who's skilled up in the, the cooking cell. Oh, and they finally come in. There you go. Grab a plate. Squatch your bum on a seat. And... Enjoy! Uh, May, where are you? Hello? Oh, there she is in the bedroom. Right. Ah, she's energised. No, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. Pause. Ah. Oh. God, jeez. You know, when you're trying to do something, you're trying to get one sim to do something with the other sim. You're like, keep still. Ah. Oh, please. For God's sake. Ah. Oh. <laughs> It's seriously like a game of cat and mouse. You know what I mean? You're kind of chasing them bloody everywhere. Now, change to Maya. Maya. I don't, I don't, I don't know how you say her name anymore. I'll, oh, let's just go for woohoo. <laughs> I'll give up. You know, the, the option is just not going to come up, is it? The... Uh, The the uh, the serenade option is not going to come up with it. So, okay, let's just uh, get it on. Now, which is she asking him? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hold on. Oops. Hold on. Hold on. Pause it. Thank you. Yes, that's... <laughs> Not going through that again. Um... Right, romance. It's all very nice being able to do, like, certain things, but... This is this is the one thing that always makes me laugh. It's like woohoo with, like you've you know, what kind of person would need a choice? Uh, I think they, I think they may have died of woohoo. Not sure that. Uh, seems to come to a bit of a standstill. Uh, hello. Oh, there's a plum bob. Hello? Uh, oh, oh, there we go, movement again. Uh, I must have... Oh, and there we go. <laughs> I think they must have been having a rest in between or something. <laughs> or they're, they're into that tantric sex or something. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a seems it's a game. I'm just joking. Jeez. Uh, right, so Flabadol's the one who's out of bed and around. What can we do? Hunger. He needs food. Not a lot. Oh, really? Well, let's go and say hello to... Uh, to... Is that Cassidy again? Yeah, she... She's bonkers, she is. Literally, yeah, she... One of her traits is insane. Yeah, so she's, uh, she's bonkers. <laughs> bonkers. Right. Um. I think what I will do, let's go into build mode. And grab the bucket. And put it back on the dresser there because it's a bit of a dangerous thing <laughs> if it's going to be uh, in the living room. Uh, back into live mode. Right. Uh, so that I was hoping 
in this episode to bring you my serenading flabadar. But it's not happening, is it? So, uh, right. Well, for this episode, I will leave it there. Um, sorry, it's not been too exciting. I was hoping to get something done, but uh, I don't appear to want to do anything just yet. I will try and in the next episode. I will try and get Maya to serenade Flabada, and that will fulfil. Um, Fulfill what? Was it an aspiration or a job requirement? Uh, oh, right, yeah. It's uh, an aspiration, uh, well, not requirement, but. Uh, so it's Serenade to seem more flirty. So what I would. Uh, right, what I could do is get them in the bedroom. Because that's the only place they're going to get flirty in there. So get them flirty through. Oh, maybe watching the TV because you can watch something like a romantic sitcom or comedy or whatever. Uh, oh, romantic sitcom, that is kind of a romantic comedy, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'll, next episode I'll get them flirty and hopefully get her inspired as well. Inspired and flirty and hopefully get her to serenade. Oh, Flabadal there. Uh. For now, I will thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, then hit the like button and uh, give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe uh, for more videos because this is only episode 14. There are going to be plenty more to come. And so, for now, thanks for watching and... Bye!